Have you ever endured a difficult trial in life? Whether it was a result of your own choices or circumstances beyond our control, we all know what it feels like to be in a tough situation. One thing that brings us hope is having Christ as our Lord and Savior in both the trials we bring upon ourselves and the ones that God allows. He has a way of bringing about the greatest outcome for us. And through these outcomes, his glory is always revealed. In the book of James chapter 1, verse 2 and 4, it reminds us and it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let us let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. What a word. I personally experienced a difficult trial in my life during my teens and early 20s. I struggled with drug addiction and made some really, really bad decisions. I was angry at the world and rejected God, but God intervened in a powerful way. He saved me from a drug overdose and used my life situation to spread his gospel to those around me. He turned my trial into a testimony for his kingdom, and it's been 20 years since then, and I wouldn't trade my journey with the Lord for anything. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 89, it says, We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Sometimes the current situation we face can overwhelm us and distract our minds, hearts, and our spirits. We may see a mountain ahead of us and try to take matters into our own hands only to make things worse. But I want to remind us that God is on the other side of your situation. The same God who saved me and worked through the great men and women of the Bible is waiting for you to surrender and let him be at the center of your mind, heart and spirit. As we pray, I encourage you to focus on three things. Ask God for forgiveness for getting in the way of his plans. Two. Pray for strength to persevere through the trials you're facing. And three, ask God to help you to choose joy in the midst of your situation. So let us pray together. God, I pray for your forgiveness, strength, and your joy. Lord, in the midst of our situation, God, we ask right now, God, that you get in the way of us, God, Father. Allow us, Father, to continue on the course and on a path that you have laid down, Father, allowing us to trust you, to trust your word, to trust your spirit, God. Father, we are grateful, God, because we know we have already have been forgiven, Father, and what you started on that cross, Lord. Father, help us in the trials, God, to choose your joy, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how pressed it can be and how complex the situation can get, God. We know that if we allow your spirit, we allow your will, Father, the outcome will always be will be great, Father, for our lives, God. We thank you, Lord, for what you started, God. Give us strength in this trial. Give us strength in this situation, God, so that we can have the self-control that is needed, the wisdom and the understanding, Father, to make the choices you have laid out for us, God. We pray this in your son's name. Amen.